Hello and welcome. I'd like to pick up on a subject where I'm testing two coils on a core which are connected together via resistors where the current is opposite running and I'd like to test that here in my specific setup and see if there is some uh, merit around it. So we have a um, core and we have two windings. I'm focusing on 15 and 45 turns and we have to measure with the correct equipment. So we have to use high frequency probes for voltage and for current. I would like to run you quickly through the setup. We have the core material which um, allows us to go to a frequency up to 100 megahertz. Then we have in red we have fine 15 turns and in black we have 45 turns. I have here um, the connectivity directly to uh, the driving input side to measure uh, the amount of energy which is delivered into the coil system and then I can with the current probes here individually measure the current for each side together with the voltage. So we have on so the so way we trigger we trigger with uh, via 15 ohm resistance we have 10 volt on the amplitude that is arm s value of 7 volt 70777 and as you can see at 1 megahertz we have a very um, um, classic view of the propagation of waves in this core even if um, the ratio is not one to one but we have an isolation transformer here which is behaving as expected that means at lower frequency there is no derivation from the signal frequency it will behave all the same so we have it all over aligned they're all in the same phase to each other and that's what you would expect from a um, isolation transformer. However, if we talk about um, values we want to see where then all of a sudden the current is shifting to each other, let's say 180 degree um, in, out of phase, then we have to go to resonance frequency of this um, f um, coils, but they have to be because of the number of turns at a far, far higher range. So I'm gonna um, scroll up, we are starting from 1 megahertz and we go up and have to zoom out or zoom in and to see it we have still if we have slight changes here at 4, 5, 6 let's do that we are at 10 megahertz at the moment you see even at 10 megahertz we are still very much aligned there's nothing changing here really so that means a good isolation transformer would have up to 10 megahertz a unique or let's say a, a standard um, signal quality um, transferred and then all of a sudden it will change. So we are 20 megahertz currently and when we go light out, let me zoom in. So we have slight changes now at 23 megahertz and let me go further out and when the interesting uh, things started at Let's do it a little bit like that, that. We have a better way to change that. Then we see changes. Changes that we have out of phase waves between coil 1 and coil 2. And that is what you would expect because we have two different lengths of wire and from a transmission line it has a different return um, um, velocity of the wave between both ends of the line and at some point in a frequency they have then an out of phase overlap um, at a specific value and that's what we are looking for that is what has been shown and described as as visible and as a specific factor and that's what I can see here if we, if we put it that way here for example let me zoom that out let me zoom in at this value they almost go to complete 
opposite of the coil 1. So coil 1 is 1 and 3, coil 2 is 2 and 4. So that means we have um, on top uh, the electric, uh, electric, um, the electrical fields, that means the, the voltage, the potential, and we have current on a bottom line. And that was was shown that way, that that is possible here, let's say here, on a wave directly opposing each other at 31, close to 31 megahertz. So I can go a little bit further up, see if we have anything else, but you see the phase shift which occurs here now, and you see how that is behaving in a frequency. Technically it's rolling forward and backward both waves and they're overlapping and changing each other. So at this frequency here, uh, at 50 MHz currently, maybe if I go a little bit higher it would overlap again. So again we will see overlaps at higher and higher higher frequencies and changes and so on. So the task now would have been to, to run a test to calculate these two values and then measure it to the input side. Uh, which I will reserve them for additional videos which I will produce for my members and I hope that gives you an idea of how to approach that subject and how to investigate it to level further. We will need to do testing via capacitive loading to the different coils and compare that. We don't use light bulbs, we don't use um, um, heating wires because that's all not conclusive enough, but charging a capacitor would be the way forward and I will, uh, will um, approach the subject under this condition for my videos on my members website. Thank you.